Hey, what's up everybody? So we're here with a new video again for y'all. And today we are gonna be aquascaping, well, rescaping the keyhole cichlid tank right here. As you can tell, I went ahead and collected a little bit of the rock that we're gonna be using. And today I went and got some new ones right here. So we just had to rinse those off. But first, what we gotta do is we gotta take everything out of here for the rescape. So in the meantime, what we're gonna do is, look how beautiful they are. We're gonna make a better rescape for them in hopes that it will be more comfortable for them and to breathe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the water down. We're gonna have the canister filter right here running. They'll be in here in the holding tank for the time being. So we can gut everything right here and be able to do the new aquascape. So what I'm gonna do is we got sand that's gonna be delivered here pretty soon. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sand. We're gonna do a rock pile in here with the live plant. So let me go ahead and get to this. So we're draining the tank now. We'll have the filter running on here. Basically like a temporary fish tank. They'll be in here for a little bit so we can get the rescape done. Keep the beneficial bacteria alive. Yep, you guys are getting a new home. You guys are gonna feel more comfortable and a lot better, I promise. Let's get to it. All right, we got everything out. We got the plants in there, the fish are in there. So now all we're gonna do is take out all of the substrate. So we're gonna go ahead and do this and be right back. All right, real quick, the fish are doing good in the holding tank right here. So what I went ahead and did was, the stand used to be this way. We went ahead and put it right here. So when we're sitting here facing this way, we could see all the tanks in here. So anyhow, let's get the tank up here and let's get to scaping. All right, got the tank in position, ready to go. The sand just got here. We're going with the Carib Sea Sunset Gold color sand. It's gonna go good with the color rocks that we collected from the local lake. So let's go ahead and get this started. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna go ahead and start piling up the rocks right here because what I wanna do is I wanna pile these up right here and it's gonna look like this tree root branches, however you wanna put it, is sitting on top of giant rocks or a rock pile right here. So let me go ahead and start doing that. So as you can tell, we went ahead, we got the rock pile up. I might have to go get more rock later down the line just to fill that in more right there, but this is good enough for now. Go ahead and check it out from this angle. So we're gonna keep this one out. I'm gonna probably put that one back. I wanna keep this one out because it's more of a flatter surface for them to lay eggs on. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring the sand in. Ooh, look at that color. Oh, dude, this color is looking dope, especially with those rocks. It's okay, I'll unbury that rock here in a second. We got two 20 pound bags, which is gonna be plenty. Usually I rinse my sand, but the freaking, uh, the filter will clean it up. Plus they give you a uh, little clarifier put in the tank so all we're gonna do is go through right here even this out a little bit dude that the color with that rock and everything is what do you think of it buddy I like it that's dope huh yeah all right let me go ahead and get the other bag ready to cut open all right got the other bag cut open it's gonna go ahead fill it in right here I know I added a little bit more on that side. We'll just come across here, fill in. Pour some across right here. I gotta remember where that clarifier bag was at. Just sprinkle some across the top of here. Let it fall in between the rocks. Fill that in. Oh man. All right, there we go. Check that out. Oh man, that is looking good. It's 
it's gonna look better trust me people or trust me everybody it's gonna look way better all right let me go ahead and level out the sand real quick keyhole cichlids they can dig in the sand so i'm not too worried about having the sand like perfectly level in certain areas they're gonna move it around and do what they do which is i'm not too picky on it i let fish do what they gotta do this is their home let them decorate it on how they want it as long as it looks appealing that's all that matters so all i'm doing right here is i'm just filling in around this area right here fill that in all right like i said they'll they'll do what they want with the sand anyway i'm just leveling out right now big old clump right there move this Right, how's it looking? Oh, that's looking really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and so we're going ahead and filling in the tank. I just put that right there just to help the sand start, help the sand stay put. But we're gonna go ahead and fill it up about halfway just so we can get the live plants in here and everything else. Start getting that going, dude. That's actually pretty cool. Once it starts filling up with water. How it just starts going this way like that. Kind of weird like that, but it looks cool. All right, we'll be back here shortly when it's about halfway full and we start putting plants in. All right, so we got our plants right here. We got valves right here. I don't remember the name of them, but we got a couple different types. And check this out. There's actually a new one growing under here. It already spread it out. So let's go ahead, come up over here. And go ahead and plant this one. Let's see we plant this one out. We'll go ahead and plant this one. Actually, what I'm going to do is cut a little bit of the roots off. And then we'll go ahead and plant this one right here. Plant that one right there. Pop the baby up right there. Oh, that's perfect right there. Oop. That is perfect right there. That's, I like that right there. All right, then we'll come over here. I think that one's actually starting to spread out too. These roots are really good. I like to cut them down a little bit when I'm transplanting. Okay, we'll actually go ahead and put this one back over here. That one right there. And that one's gonna look nice right there. Alright. Then go ahead, grab this one here, cut these roots down a little bit. Oh yeah, look at it's actually starting to send out a runner right there. And we'll go ahead and put this one right here as well. Put that right there. There we go. Go ahead and come back over here. I thought there was some smaller ones in here. I think there is. Oh yeah, look at that one sending out a runner as well. We'll go ahead and take this one. Cut that off. And then we'll go, oops. We'll go ahead and put this one back up over here. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead stop this water that way we can use the water that they're in to top off the tank so pretty much a water change this is all fresh water so now let's go ahead and continue doing what we were doing we'll get these and one thing I want to do for the keyhole cichlids that we didn't do in their last setup is if they choose this flat rock as a spawning site, I want to make sure that this area has plants around it so they feel a little bit safer right here to spawn. 
So we'll go ahead and put plants around it right here. Ooh, we got some hair algae right here. We'll go ahead and cut that off. So we'll go ahead and put that one right there. Let's see, we got some taller ones. Yeah. Take another one, same thing. Go ahead and just clip the roots off. We'll go ahead and put this one right here. And what's cool about these valve plants is that they send out runners. So eventually this tank will have more valve plants spread throughout here. And this tank is gonna look good. Okay, we got another valve right here. Go ahead and just crop this off. Then let's go ahead We'll go ahead and put a bunch over here in this corner. Put that right there. That looks good. We got one right there. Go ahead and grab this one. Put this one over here as well. There we go. I didn't realize how many uh, crop plants we had in here. This one's a little smaller. We'll go ahead and leave the root on that one. Fold it up a little bit. We'll go ahead and put it like right here. There we go. And we'll put it right there. And let me go ahead and oh, this is this the last one? No, we got a couple small ones in there. So what we'll do is we'll take this big, oh, look it, it's got a runner right there as well. We'll save that, cut the root off. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that above the sand a little bit. And it'll plant it wherever it wants to. And what I wanna do is put this one right here. Okay, I believe I left that runner out. If not, it'll, it'll plant itself, so that's okay. All right, and then we've got one. Looks like we got two little runners, or not two little runners, but two smaller ones here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and leave these ones together. And what we'll do is go ahead and plant these ones down right here. I can, in fact, yeah, let me cut the roots off of these ones. These roots are actually a little bit longer. We'll just go ahead and just clip those off real quick. Put them back in here. Go ahead and plant that right there. There we go. And then, I forget the name of these plants, but there's something ripen or something like that. I forget the name of them, but I got a clump of them right here. And so, I don't know how well they'll do. They're actually doing well in another tank, so I'll go ahead and put them in here. See how they do in here. We'll just go ahead and put these ones right here. And see how they do right there. All right, go ahead and check that out. That is looking good. All right, let me go ahead, finish filling up this tank, and then we'll go ahead and put fish in. All right, as you can tell, we got the tank ready. Temperature is a little bit warm, but it matches the temperature of the water that they're in, so that's fine. But we got it set for 78 degrees. As it naturally cools down throughout the night, it'll be fine. But anyhow, let's go ahead and come in here and get these two, if I could even see them. It looks like them right there. Oh yeah. Let's see. All right, here we go, there they are. Let's go ahead and see if we can get them. Got the male, got the female. And look at them, a little bit stressed out, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and come up over here, put them in the tank. Oh man, go to your new home, babies. Obviously, they're gonna be a little bit stressed out. So now, one thing we gotta do is, we're gonna go ahead, I already put Seachem Prime in there. We're gonna go ahead and put this 
I'm assuming it's a water clarifier. But it says use scissors to open, so use scissors to open it. I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut it with my fingers. Pour it in. It came with two, but I'm only gonna use one. Not super worried about the tin clearing up. The filter will clear it up. And then we are going to add some of my fish protector. I love adding this stuff. Just gonna put a little bit in here. This will help them with the stress and replace some of their slime coat that they've lost during all this. And look at that. So damn. So now what I'm gonna add in is the Seacam Flourish tabs. I was using a different one, but I've been using these ones and it seems like I'm getting better results. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna grab them, just like so. And then we'll go ahead and put one right here. Come back up, grab another one. Come back right here. Come back up. Go ahead and put one right here. Go ahead and take another one. Put another one right here in between these ones. Add this one. I'll put this right there. And then take the last one and put it right here in between these three. And voila. All right, this is the Fluval Plant Plus. I still can't remember. But this is the Fluval Plant Fertilizer. Five milliliters per 60 gallons. We'll go ahead and put this in here as well. And that, my folks, is a wrap on that. Let's go ahead and close the lid, fix the lights a little bit. lights right here and look at that tank they are looking good still a little bit cloudy but that's you know that's expected especially when you're just setting the tank up man Let's hope that they spawn for us pretty soon. I'm sure they're gonna love this setup a lot better than their previous one. I really can't wait to see it when these uh, valve plants really start filling in. Man. All right, y'all. Thank you all for tuning in to the Rescape of the 40 gallon for the Keyhole Cichlids. Once again, I've had them for got almost a year, if not a year. And they've spawned for me multiple times, but we never got fry or anything from them. So I'm hoping now that they've got a dedicated tank to themselves now. It's rescaped. It's more suitable for them. And so hopefully we can get some babies soon. If not, we'll figure it out. But anyhow, appreciate you for tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button, that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because we're always dropping new videos. Thank you.